This is the last ride in the old boat. Kind of bittersweet. I know that we said that the last ride was going to be the Grenada trip, but well, he's not picking it up till Sunday. And I figured before we, this storm hits, we're going to do some fishing out of the old, uh, old faithful right here. So yeah, we're going to do a, a maiden voyage, a maiden, a, a maiden trip on some brush piles during spawning time. I'm going to show you that you can actually catch these fish on brush piles right outside. In fact, those are some of the best places that I've had in terms of the spawn, to be quite honest with you. We're also going to be putting the new paddle tail. If you guys haven't checked out the new paddle tail, this is actually the blue monkey on three pound fishing.com. Check them out. These are extremely soft plastics. They are not meant to last all day. These are professional grade, in my opinion, type plastics where I might catch four or five fish on them. I might shorten them up a little bit then I'll go on to a next one. I want all the movement I can get out of the paddle tail. And I talk about this all the time. I'm all about vibration, about, you know, what that fish is seeing. I'm, I'm all about contrasting color and vibration. These paddle tails do that. They're only a two inch. So we're gonna be using those. We got the Ozark rods and uh, we're just gonna have a ball fishing structure. And uh, hopefully I get you some active captain. This is it. Active captain footage. This is it. This is the last trip. I'm um, going to Grizzly Jig tomorrow. We got a tournament this weekend. The guy's picking it up on Sunday. So uh, kind of bittersweet, but this is it. Home Lake, maybe that's the best send off. So here we go. Thanks for watching Three Pound Fishing. Partnered up with these fantastic companies. All right, so we just got here to a piece of structure that is right outside the spawning area. We've got essentially no wind whatsoever which is incredible. And I like to stay back about 30 feet. I give myself a chance. Oh, wow, that was quick. Uh, I give myself a chance to catch some of these fish before I get up on top of them. Super aggressive though, which might mean that we're post spawn here. We're at water temperatures right now of 66, so it's really quite possible. They won't take, it's interesting. They're really short striking it right now. Totally a post-spawn fish. Skinny belly. Good solid 11, 11 and a half inch fish right there to start the, the, the episode off with. That is a solid, solid fish. And there's a bunch of them. So we've got temperatures at 60, 66 degrees. Um, it's been that kind of way for the last, I don't know, three days, water temperature wise. We've had some really warm weather, 80 degrees, 70. And to me, a majority of our fish are going to be post spawn now so you can actually hit these structures and stuff like that so this should be labeled a post spawn episode even though it's a say goodbye to the old boat say hello to the new jigs so fishing with the 10 footer i love the 10 footer ozark rod check them out i know that there's a lot of shipping uh issues for these these companies that are shipping rods now and the prices are going up and i and i feel you um just realize it's not ozark rods realize it's not these companies that are doing it it's actually the u.s, the US postal office that is uh, making that occur so let's show you some active captain here on this next uh, throw all right so let's see if we can find these fish again now i really like to contrast the colors on my plastics and my jig head on this particular one for whatever reason i chose to break out the chartreuse head which is not necessarily my, one of my first choice for whatever reason it's just everybody has their favorite color mine happens to be orange and pink so here comes that structure right there you can see it it's got fish on it you know it's it's uh it's looking really good and uh that's how i know it's post spawn baby because let me tell you there was nothing on these types of structure structures a couple weeks ago so there it is it's going to start coming into the picture there it is and look at this guy coming right up to shoot for it and there he is look at that first guy oh and he got off that was a good fish and he came a long way did you see how long he came oh man i didn't I'll tell you what Let's see if we can do it again that's sad that was a good fish there i am right coming right over it i'll speed it up just a little bit maybe there he is second cast A lot of people ask, what are you using still? I use optimal sniping grade all day long on my home life for any style of fishing. I just know the braid. Look at that. That is a freaking solid fish right there. This is the blue milk. 
paired up with a one thirty second ounce three pound fishing chartreuse head. Hot, hot, hot. That's good stuff. Now again, I probably prefer an orange head just because that's what my favorite. But anyway, back to the braids. This is the optimal. This is the standard one, right? I use it all day long, every guide trip. I'm not even going to tell you how many guide trips I did last month in the month of April. Let me tell you, it was a lot and everybody walks away loving it. You just gotta know what you're fishing with. It's a really small diameter. And so we also have the optimal in the boat. We have it all in the boat, but we only, on this boat right here for this lake, this is what we fish with. I love how it feels. Look at this guy coming up. Oh, we might still get this guy here. Yep, we did. That's awesome active captain footage. And these are solid fish. These are all great eating fish. Smoking them. This is awesome. No, guide trips have been, you know, people ask me about guide trips, whatever. I, I get a lot of guide trips out here, and uh, we are just absolutely crushing it, having a ball. Um, I don't know which episode we'll show first, but there's actually an episode coming where we go to Pyramid, and uh, that's what we do, man. We have a great time. Look at this guy. There he is. Got him. That's how it's done, folks. Easy peasy, right? These baits, I'm gonna turn that off. One, okay, so active captain's off. These baits are no joke. They are two inch, super soft. So I have to emphasize that enough. And that's by design. It was designed, I said specifically to the people that are making this, and they're, they're being made by a professional outfit that makes a ton of baits. I said I want it to be the softest plastic. It, to me, that make, that means the world to me is when that paddle tail can do so much more. And what I did was I, I shortened up, didn't make the paddle as wide so that you have even more movement. So that's all. And I've got a variety of colors and maybe we'll, I think I, we'll, we'll throw some other colors at you today. You know, and maybe during this period of time right here, it, it, it might not even matter what color you're throwing just because, by golly. See, these guys are a little bit more a little bit more stingy. They ain't moving. I'm sitting there, I'm going, why am I fishing with this? So, <laughs> it just caught a ton. It just caught, what, three fish in a row? So, it's obviously working. But here, my favorite color, again, this is the, the chartreuse. These baits, these jigs last forever. It's a, it's a joke. I mean, it's just it's hilarious. There is my assortment of colors. I am a big fan. So, and I can pair that up with just about anything and that makes a huge contrasting color difference. And I'm curious if by changing this, will we get those fish to bite on top? We're giving it a different look. Maybe not a different shape look, obviously. Certainly not a different vibration look, but we're giving it certainly a huge contrasting color difference between that orange and that monkey milk. And I guarantee you, we could even put maybe the June bug color on there. I should have showed you my loop knot, right? But I didn't. All right, look at that. Putting the blue milk back on there. There it is. I don't care if it's upside down, right side up. You put that little two, that two inch paddle tail on there. I don't care what direction it is. It's gonna catch some fish. There they are. They're not very far away. Now, my assumption is it's the same fish, but Look at this. He's going to come after it again. This guy's going to come after it. He's going to have gone down for it and then they'll come back up for it. All right, so let's see if we can vertical jig these fish with a 10 footer. They don't seem to be getting spooked, which of course I prefer a hair jig, but everything's taken out of this boat right now. So, no, he does not want it. So, that's a, that answers our question. That's all that matters. If I had a hair jig, I would love to drop down on with a hair jig. But I, I do not have a hair jig with me right here. Boo-hoo. Check out that school. I just I just turned on my uh, color gain up to 100% because I saw the Garmin Guru had done that. And uh, that thing is freaking on fire popping. Check that out. Look at this, guys. Look how active these fish are. Unbelievable. This is a school of fish I just ran out coming close to a pile don't get me wrong but um i don't know how i feel about the 100 percent color game but you know to each his own it's uh there it is right there I actually i mean because i can see my bait pretty damn good i mean here we go there he is that's awesome 
Ooh, almost lost it. Good eater. I could fill the live well up right now. I mean, I could fill it up. That is, I don't know what the story is on a school of fish. I don't typically see them. I don't typically see this time of year. Um, but obviously, what do I know, right? Check this out. They are freaking hungry. They are freaking hungry. To have them coming that far for it, man, that is amazing. Look at that swarm of them. Boom! How many can we get on Active Captain? <laughs> that is freaking crazy. That is crazy. This is, I, you know, I don't think it has anything to do with what I, I'm fishing with, to be quite honest with you. I think they're just that, you know, they're just that active. I mean, look at this, one after another. I can just pick them off, man. This is a small guy. This is one of the smaller guys. But that's pretty cool. I don't mind the picture at, at, at 100, you know, 100% gain, color gain. Um, this is what I do on these baits. So I've caught how many fish in this episode? Probably six or seven. So it's gotten loose. I'll turn it to adjust it, or I'll just take a little bit piece off and I'll put it right back on. It's because it's a really soft plastic. There she is. Got this one right off the bottom. Big old bass. Big old bass. Big old bass. It's quite possible this could be the biggest bass I've caught on this lake. I'm not quite sure. But I saw it jump, and it's a big bass. Probably a four pounder. I don't know if it's my biggest, but. Good fish. Ooh, baby. Came a long way for it now, folks. This is becoming a bath session. Good night. Can I tell you, my, my baits work for bass too. They don't discriminate. Well, folks, that's going to end it. As you can see, the rain is starting to fall. But what an exciting night on the lake. Get you out there. I appreciate you guys for watching. Three pound fishing, baby. New paddle tails. Check out the Ozark rods. Appreciate it, guys. Talk to you later. Thanks for watching Three Pound Fishing, partnered up with these fantastic companies.